Hey everyone and welcome to this chess repertoire series with uh, Chess24. Um, the goal of this series is to provide uh, openings uh, for players of every level. Uh, and for that reason, I have made some uh, philosophies on what kind of variants I want to recommend. Uh, and I thought I would elaborate a little bit on that uh, right now. Um, my goal is for this to be accessible for club players, for pretty serious people, but also uh, for people just starting out in chess. Uh, when I was a kid, it was very difficult uh, to find good, solid sound openings uh, being presented in just one place. And, and I'm trying to fill uh, that gap uh, in the market. Um, so I'm very concerned about, um, three things in the opening. Um, I care about getting the pawns in the center. Uh, I think it's important to develop your pieces quickly and you need to castle pretty early on. Uh, and these are tips that I'm sure you've heard hundreds of times before. Uh, but in this series, I'm going to try to make that a uh, reality while also giving you chances of an opening advantage. Now, that being said, all of the lines I'm presenting are not going to give you an instant uh, advantage. You might not win games uh, because of the opening itself, uh, but it's supposed to give you the, the confidence uh, to, uh, to get a nice position, uh, win the game on your own, uh, and, and just start out uh, in, a, in a good fashion. Um, and, and because of that being the objective, uh, there will be variations where white doesn't really stand that much better. Uh, sometimes I'm prioritizing safety over going after the most critical lines. Uh, because I want this to be very uh, friendly to, to people just starting out, I will have a special focus on gambits and other dangerous lines uh, where your opponent may be very familiar with that opening. It's like their special trick uh, and, and you need to be well prepared for, for the trickery uh, in order to uh, survive the opening and, and, and get uh, to the next phase of the game. Um, I also have this thing uh, that if something is common, it's probably good. So while I have recommended a couple of side lines uh, or not the most common main lines, that is mostly because I want to offer a repertoire that's very safe, that you, you can be certain that there's not going to be so much trickery that you're gonna lose uh, the opening to a very well-prepared, tricky uh, player. Uh, but at the same time, I do want to recommend some of the very oldest openings in chess, some of the big classics. And one of those things is the main line of the Spanish opening, uh, which was, I mean, they started playing this in the 1500s and it has stood the test of time, the most popular opening in chess. Uh, and I think it's very important to know, regardless of whether you think you're going to be playing that variation uh, five years from now, it's also kind of just part of chess culture uh, to, um, to know the, the mainline Spanish and, and have some familiarity with the middle games that arise from that opening. Um, so yeah, whenever I was in doubt about which line to recommend, I went back to my philosophy and I said to myself, am I developing my pieces? Uh, am I getting my king into safety? Am I putting my pawns in the center? And, and so I hope that you will notice uh, that being a recurring theme in the repertoire. 
that being said, I think we're ready for it and we can get started on uh, all of the openings in the 1E4, best by test, according to Bobby Fischer.